Oh, why, hello there. So I just rounded up my three-part series on functions, which make your AI chatbot so smart, but I got a bonus for you. By popular demand, let me answer the question. If you are not using auto GPT as your default message and you've created a custom default message, how do functions work? Let's dive into this one. First, we would go to our flow section and we're gonna find the default message that you built. I would just go to, in my case, AI default message. I could just click on it. It's gonna open up the flow. Wherever you have the open AI, that's right, you have to be using an AI in order for the functions to function. It doesn't have to be open AI, but that's what I use. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna click on the one that manages the actual prompt. So in my case, I have this one here. And you'll see this is where my master prompt is. And down here, you'll see all of the functions. You're gonna click on that and anything in blue is already added. If there, let's just unclick one of these. If something is not in blue, that means it's not added. It's probably your new function. So you would just click on that to add the function here. And just like in my other videos where I updated my master prompt, you would add a prompt note here to let the AI know in what scenario and how you want it to act in order to trigger the function. Now, if you're confused, be sure to go back and check out the other videos I have in my series on functions as part of our DBB foundational course. And there you have it, you now know various ways to use the powerful tool of functions in order to make your AI chatbot super smart and powerful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget to follow this playlist as I'm gonna continue to add new tutorial videos as part of the Chatbot Builder AI foundational course. If you've yet to sign up for Chatbot Builder, you can check us out at chatbotbuilder.ai.